What we decided to do was to have a wedding in central London, where many of our friends live, that allowed us to invite our guests to take public transport to the wedding. That saved on the carbon of their journeys. When someone gets married for a day, there seems to be a lot of waste, so um, we thought it would be great to just help people um, choose a better way of getting married and, you know, be more conscious about the waste and the economy and their carbon footprint as well. We recycle 75% of our waste, um, the 25% that isn't recycled is contaminated waste or food waste that we can't recycle for health and safety reasons. It's all about season, really. The first question that we'll ask them is, when are you getting married? And that's absolutely paramount. That's the starting point for us. So, because if you use flowers that are grown in this country, and if you grow, ideally, if you use flowers that are grown outdoors, so there's no extra heating um, being used, then we're cutting the flowers from the plant. We're not killing the plant. so much demand before but people are starting to want to care more about ethical An ethical, eco-friendly bridal gown, mine comprise of many different components of ethical and eco. For example, the fabrics are organic, or they're wild fibres, natural fibres. Um, the production is ethical, so everyone, or as much as possible, everyone in the production process is monitored to make sure they're given a fair wage, treated fairly, there's no children involved in making it. Uh, we can trace the products all the way from the mine to their finger, so to speak, 
Uh, we can also guarantee that nobody's exploited at any point in the chain uh, and that they're made ethically as well as sourced ethically.